Observatory, is that right? That's correct, Dave. Okay. I'm at the Haystack Observatory on the Groton uh, Westford Town Line, I believe, out on Route 40. We out here. It's a little chilly out here too. Temperatures are in the lower 40s. I anticipate. Uh, it's beautiful though. A beautiful evening earlier. I was getting a little grief. We had some clouds in the air, but now things have cleared up. It's very nice. That uh, reddish moon in the background is looking real sharp too. Uh, it's better than a hurricane party out here. Lots of folks out here. We got them all gathered around with their telescopes and. It, Actually, somebody's running around here with a hair dryer, too, because of the cool air. Uh, we got some moisture condensing on the lenses, so it's uh, a little bit chilly, but we're making the best of it, too. We talked with a lot of folks earlier about their thoughts on the eclipse. Seems like it's going to be a good night if I can sit it stays clear. The uh, last uh, uh, eclipse of the moon uh, here that we was visible here was the uh, 3rd of April. It takes a special breed to become an amateur astronomer. You gotta really, really like to do it. This is gonna be the last one for, what, three, four more years. And uh, it doesn't happen all the time. And like I said, I got the camera on here. When I ever get, uh, when it gets to the uh, umbra stage, I'm gonna start taking some pictures. I'm hoping for a, a nice, clear sky, though. <laughs> that's yeah. the main thing. You can see the moon just about any night, but to see it in eclipse, that's, yeah. that's uh, yeah. more rare. And then this is the last time it's gonna happen until after the turn of the century. Yeah. Hi, Carl. Too. Some people really don't really care about astronomy, and people like myself really care about it. It's something special. Shoot us. So things are looking pretty good here. I have with me Peter Bielow from the Amateur Telescope Makers of Boston. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit. What are your impressions on tonight's eclipse? Well, I've seen a lot of eclipses, and this is a pretty spectacular one. Beautiful red, uh, red moon up there. And it's a really good one to end the uh, century of eclipses on. Next one is January of, 19, uh, of the year 2000. Well, uh, well, why is the moon red, actually? The moon's red, I'm sure as you know, uh, because of uh, light uh, coming around the uh, atmosphere of the uh, Earth, around the edges of the Earth, and being refracted into the moon, and uh, just illuminating it a little bit. And colors vary eclipse to eclipse because of how much dust is in the atmosphere due to volcanoes and such. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Pete. Uh, we're going to be out here for the next half hour enjoying ourselves. We'll toss it back to you, reporting live in uh, Groton. I'm Pete Bouchard, Fox News, Boston. All right, Pete, thanks.